What's making you unhappy? Is it home? Is it your job? Your relationship? Your family? You? What is it? I always say, when JR's unhappy or I am unhappy, we've always determined right away what it is so we can move on and get past it. We couldn't be married all these years if we ignored it. We're 27 years in love, guys. 27 years in love. And here's the thing. You know what? There they are, my men. Right there. My mini JR right there. Anyway, 27 years in love. You know why? Because we work on ourselves and we work with each other. And when I say that, that's why I have no problem telling you to eliminate the negative people in your life, including your spouse or your respective other. Because you'll go nowhere unless they're behind you. And when we have problems, we talk them through. I always say, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not happy today. We're not spending enough time together. We're not connecting. Today, we're going to go to dinner without our cell phones. We can't forget when we're building this great empire, we can't forget who we are. Tell me what my favorite color is. And if you don't know my favorite color, we haven't got to spend enough time together. <laughs> you got to test each other. You got to spend time together. You got to work on yourselves. What makes you unhappy? Why haven't you quit your job? I know, you have a million reasons. And I'm not telling you to necessarily go out and quit your job, but if it makes you unhappy, quit your job. And here's why. When I ask you why you haven't done those things and you complain, and JR says, as soon as you meet people, the first thing they do is talk about how unhappy they are and they start complaining, right? After they say, hi, how are you? I'm so-and-so. How's your life doing? Well, it's okay. I've had at least 20 people come up to me this weekend. Oh, it's okay. And I pay attention to those things because I was trained to. But every time I ask you why you haven't done anything about it, you always have one word, but. But. But's a powerful, ugly word. But's a dream killer. And we build our case of why we're not doing anything on a lot of things called but. Don't we? But. But I can't. I don't have any money. But I can't because who else will be with me and go to dinner with me? But I can't. How will I make it with three kids if I'm alone? But I can't, how will I survive if I don't have a job? I don't know, but you will. You will, you will survive. Because when you have the will to do something and your life depends on it, you will make it. But you're living a life without any passion to know and believe in yourself that you can do it. You have to have passion to believe that you can do it. Most people are sleepwalking through life. They're sleepwalking. But is an argument for our limitations so we can keep them. But is an argument for our limitations so we can keep them. Do you agree? Are you feeling me right now? Are you guys feeling out me or are you on your phones? Are you guys with me out there? Yes. I want to make sure you're paying attention. Because we've all done this. We're guilty too in the past. But is an excuse to protect our ego. 